That, that, that is enough said. What's up, Heat Nation? Your boy Ernest here, bubble bubble back with another Miami Heat Talk video. Would really appreciate it, guys if you could smash the like button. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel as we push for 5,000 subscribers. Now, let's rock and roll on another Miami Heat Talk adventure because today we are back with the Miami Heat player profiles. Y'all know what I'm doing, taking an individual player, talking about how I feel this team can benefit us moving forward. And today, we're talking about our second round pick, Pele Larson. Now, as we know, Pele Larson was drafted 42nd in the second round by the Miami Heat after we made that trade in the second round. He is from Arizona, a three-year college player, had some incredible years with Arizona, broke out his last year, averaged 13 points a game, four rebounds, 3.7 assists, 42% from the three-point line. My man, six foot six, 215 pounds. He is a three and D wing player. You lost Caleb Martin this year. I think Pelé Lawson brings something that you lost within Caleb Martin. You also have a lot of wings like Haywood Highsmith, Jaime Jaquez Jr., Jimmy Butler. But in the NBA, you can't go wrong without having an extra wing, a wing player on your team. Dude should scree from the three-point line. He's an incredible defensive player. He's really good stealing the ball. Uh, he had an incredible showing in summer league, you guys. And what I liked about Pelé Larson, he struggled a little bit the first, uh, the beginning of summer league, but then he stepped up. Had some great games. Had some great showing of consistency. And he actually ended with similar numbers that he had in college in summer league. Averaged 12 points a game, 4 rebounds, 3.6 assists. Now, he did shoot 36% from the three-point line. Lower than his college average. We all know that the three-point line in college is 20, uh, 20 feet versus the NBA, which is 23 feet. Does that make a difference from Pelé Larson? I really don't think so. Uh, one thing I like about Pelé um, Larson, he has an overall game. You know, he can score inside the paint. He can hit the three-point shot. He can rebound. He can also facilitate. You know, there was a lot of times in summer league I saw him lead I saw him lead the offense with the ball in his hand. He facilitates great with Kalel Ware. They had some great chemistry in the in the summer league. But one thing that really impressed me about Pele Larson, you guys, he improved every game. One of his best games that he had was the summer league championship. He got 21 points, four rebounds, six assists four steals, and he hit the game winner. One thing I like about Pele Larson in Summer League, he was developing the same confidence that we saw in Max Struess. Max Struess did the same thing hitting game winners in Summer League. Now, Pele Larson is not an undrafted player. He's a second round pick. We've had some great second round picks on this Miami Heat roster. One that comes to mind, Josh Richardson. You've seen what Jay Rich became with the Miami Heat. I don't think you'll see difference with Pele Larson. I think Pele Larson can have a very similar career to Josh Richardson. He won't be the star for the Heat, but I think he can contribute. Now, don't think Pele Larson's going to get a shot at the rotation right away. It's going to take a few things. It's going to take maybe an injury. It's going to take some time. This year will most likely be a redshirt year for him. You're going to see him go to the G League also. Um, so he's going to get some time. But this is a guy that can potentially be something during the Bam out of bio build, which isn't gonna be that far off, you guys. Might be another year or two. I can see Pele Larson have a similar role as a guy like Caleb Martin, Gabe Davis, Max Struess, you know, not the star of the team, but a role player that's gonna give you anywhere from 25, maybe 30 minutes a game. And I think Pele Larson can get his averages to what you've seen in summer league. I, this could be a guy that can average any, anywhere from like nine to 12 points a game, four rebounds, four assists, 40% from the three point line. You know, he could be a very solid professional NBA player. Now, will he help the Miami Heat this season? Yes, because one thing we know about this team during the season, players are going to miss time. It's just a stigma with us. I would love a fully healthy season. Doubt that shit's going to happen. So I know what's going to happen, you guys. We're going to have players that are going to step up. For God's sakes, in 2022, the Miami Heat were the first seed. Having Kyle Guy out there. 
Respect to Kyle, uh, Kyle Guy. Just announced his retirement from the NBA. Appreciate you for those games. You were in having some big ones here with the Miami Heat. Kyle Guy won't forget you. Anyways, this Miami Heat team turns chicken bleep into chicken salad. There's a lot of times when players are injured, but it doesn't matter. Coach Spo always finds people that are ready for the challenge. That is when you're going to see guys like Pele Larson, Josh Christopher, maybe Isaiah Stevens, Kashad Johnson. That's when you're going to see them get some time. During December, January, you know, February, when players are missing games here and there. You know Jimmy Butler ain't going to play 82 games. A lot of these players play really hard, so dinks and injuries come into play. Now, I hope... This Miami Heat team has a fully healthy season. And when I say fully healthy, all I'm asking for, let me get more than 65 games from Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, Tyler Hero, and Terry Rozier. I get that from each four of those players. I'm good. I'm good. But Pele Larson, you guys, can be a key contributor for this team moving forward in the future. He's got an NBA build. He's ready right now. He can hit the three-point shot, which is valuable in the NBA. He defends amazingly. He sets players up. He's incredible with alley-ooping. There's a lot of times where you saw him throw some great lobs to Kalel Ware. They might have some great chemistry. And you never know, you guys, if Pele Larson shows out in training camp, why the hell can't he get playing time? That's the great thing about this roster. On paper, you guys, from player number five, to 15, it's it's up for grabs. Some of these players can shock you and earn a spot in rotation. So I'm really curious to see what Pele Larson does, you guys. And I want to hear from y'all. What do you think about our second round draft pick? Do you think some this is a guy that can possibly help us now? Do you think he's going to help us in the Bam out of bio build? Or do you think he's not going to do anything at all? Let me know in the comments your thoughts, you guys. Don't forget to like the video. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Look, I know it's August. I know it's tough. I know content's really slow right now for Miami Heat. But I've told y'all this before. I will always be posting content. I will always come up with something to keep it entertained. We'll be talking in the comments. Have a great time. Hope y'all enjoy your weekend. Love y'all. Stay positive. And that is enough said. Yeah, buddy. Let's go.